click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends now in previous video we have studied uh, roc in inverse laplace transform where in question the factors are already given and all the factors or all the poles are simple poles and multiple poles it is not repeated now in today's example i have placed a question where you have to find out pole value or you have to find out a factors so first of all let's go through the question first a problem number 2 Now the problem number two is obtain the inverse Laplace transform of function where x of s is given 3s plus 7 and in the matter we have s square minus 2s minus 3 and we have to find out inverse Laplace transform of this function for the ROC which is real part of s is greater than 3 which means this is the right handed side of ROC here the real part of s is less than minus 1 which means this is a left handed side of ROC and third one is the ROC is exist between minus 1 and 3. which means this is a two sided roc now first of all before calculating the values of x of t for all these such rocs first of all we have to find out partial fraction of this question so first of all we'll find out a partial fraction and then we'll move on to inverse laplace transform now the solution x of s is 3s plus 7 and denominator we have s square minus 2s plus 3 now as i told you how to find out factors here we have 3 which is a product of two terms and here we have minus 2 which is addition of two terms now we know that 3 into 1 is 3 so maybe your value or factors are minus 3 and minus 1 but if you place minus 3 and minus 1 then result will be plus 3 which means both the in both out of both the values one should be positive so i'll choose minus 3 plus 1 reason is after adding minus 3 plus 1 our result should be have or should have a minus sign that's why i have consider the s minus 3 and s plus 1 now next so as we have a two poles so i have taken two different variables and uh, it is not necessary to place s minus 3 in the denominator of a you can place in the denominator of b also and this is my equation number 1 now multiply this denominator left hand side denominator on the right hand side what will get this plus 3 and plus 3 will get cancel so a is multiplied by s plus 1 now look at here on move on moving on to b this s plus 1 s plus 1 will get cancel so b is multiplied with s minus 3 so this is our equation now how to find out this variable value now look at it in the denominator of a we have s minus 3 so equate this s minus 3 equal to 0 what you will get s equals to plus 3 so substitute s equals to plus 3 in equation number 2 to get or to obtain the value of a now what i am going to do i am substituting s equals to 3 so look at here here if i substitute 3 then 3 minus 3 will get cancel answer is 0 so whole product becomes 0 now on the right hand side what you will get if i replace this s by 3 so 3 plus 1 is 4 so we have only 4a on the right hand side now look at here on the left hand side we have s and if this s is replaced by 3 so 3 3 is 9 9 plus 7 is 16 and if we move this or if we shift this 4 on the denominator on the left side what you will get your a value will be 16 by 4 is 4 so your a value is plus 4 similarly we will find out value of b but for that equate this bracket equal to 0 so what you will get s plus 1 equal to 0 so s is equals to minus 1 and substitute s equals to minus 1 in equation number 2 now if i substitute s equals to minus 1 then look at here minus 1 plus 1 becomes 0 so whole product becomes 0 so we have only b value on the right hand side now if i replace this as by minus 1 then minus 1 minus 3 will gives us a minus 4 so on the right hand side we have minus 4 b now similarly on the left hand side if i substitute s equals to minus 1 then 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 so 7 minus 3 is 4 and if i shift or if i move this minus 4 on the left hand side then 4 4 will get cancel our b value is now 1 minus 1 now what is our next step we'll substitute a b value in our equation number 1 
So, after substituting values of a, b in equation number 1, what we have got? This is the place of a and this one is a b. So, our a value was 4 and b value was minus 1. Now, this is our output x of s. Now, what we are going to do? We are going to find out inverse Laplace transform, but that inverse Laplace transform is on the basis of ROC. So, first of all, what was our first ROC? Now, our first ROC was real part of s is greater than 3. Now, what do you mean by real part of s is greater than 3? Here, if the real part is greater than 3, which means your ROC is available on the right hand side of the pole. Now, real part is greater than 3, which means we have a causal ROC or right handed side ROC. Real part of s is greater than 3, which means we have a right handed side ROC or a causal ROC. Now, according to properties of ROC, if we have or if our function is producing right handed sided ROC, then ROC is always marked on the right hand side of rightmost bit. But first of all, which one is our rightmost bit? So, first of all, I'll place all the poles value in our S plane. Here, the first pole is S minus 3. How to find out first four location? S minus 3 equal to 0. So, S equals to plus 3. So, this is our location of plus 3. And here, just equate this value with equal to 0. So, S plus 1 equal to 0. So, what you will get? S equals to minus 1. So, this is our location value of minus 1. Now, where is our ROC? Or where you will plot the ROC? So, as I told you, according to properties, our function is, if our function is producing a right-handed side ROC, then ROC is available on right hand side of rightmost pole this is our rightmost pole so our ROC is available on right hand side of rightmost pole now according to this we will apply inverse Laplace transform on equation number 3 what you will get first of all inverse laplace transfer x of s is nothing but x of t i no. will write constant value first now look at here in denominator s is shifted by minus 3 so so according to frequency shifting property this t which is present in the power of exponential will be multiplied by opposite value of minus 3 so opposite value is plus 3 so 3 is multiplied with t answer is 3t and then what is remaining 1 by s and we know that 1 by s inverse laplace of 1 by s is unit step but important one is which one is roc the roc is which type of roc we have here the roc is right handed side of roc so we'll write unit step value as a u of t only minus next one 1 upon s plus 1 here also s is shifted or delayed by 1 so, the function is multiplied by exponential function and the value of t is multiplied by this t is placed in power of exponential and that t is multiplied opposite value of minus plus 1. So, it is minus 1. So, minus 1 into t is minus t and again as the ROC is right handed sided then all the poles will follow the same ROC. So, here also we have u of t. This is our ROC as well as this is the expression of inverse Laplace transform for right handed shaded ROC. Now we will move on to ROC number 2. Now, second ROC. Our second ROC is real part of S is less than minus 1. Less than minus 1 means what? Our ROC is available on left hand side of minus 1, which means X of S is having ROC on the left hand side. So, according to properties, if the function is having ROC on the left hand side, then ROC is always marked on left hand side of leftmost pole. Here, the leftmost pole is minus 1. So, our ROC is available on left hand side of leftmost pole. So, this is the ROC or region of convergence. Now, we will apply inverse Laplace transform on this equation
so applying inverse laplace transform on equation number 3 now as the roc is left hand sided which means all the poles will follow the same roc so all the unit step is replaced by minus u of minus t so inverse laplace transform x of s is nothing but x of t i'll write down the first of all constant value which is 4 now here we have s is delayed by minus 3 so opposite sign of minus 3 will be multiplied with the t and that value is plus 3 and then 1 by s 1 by s is unit step but this function is a right left hand sided so will multiply it by u of minus of u of minus t now then i will place a minus sign then here we have s plus 1 so e to the power t this t is multiplied by opposite value of plus 1 which is minus 1 so minus 1 into t is minus t and then here also as i told you the ROC is left handed sided so this whole part is multiplied by minus of u of minus t so minus of u is will produce a plus sign over here and this is the equation for x of t if the ROC is left handed sided now we'll move on to third which is a two sided roc now our third roc is exists between minus 1 and minus 3 which means it is a two sided roc so first of all i have marked the location of poles now here the roc is greater than minus 1 which means for minus 1 pole your roc is right handed sided so for minus 1 our ROC is right handed sided. Now look at it. In this case, here the ROC is less than 3, which means for pole 3, the ROC is left handed sided. A two sided ROC. Now for this two sided ROC, I will find out the inverse Laplace transform. That is, I will calculate x of so i will apply inverse laplace transform on equation number 3 what you will get the inverse laplace transform of x of s is nothing but x of t now look at here the first pole is s minus 3 and for s minus 3 the roc is left hand sided if the roc is left handed sided then u of t is replaced by minus u of minus t first of all i'll place a 4 as a constant and then i will use a frequency shifting property to find out inverse laplace transform 1 upon s minus 3 so according to inverse laplace transform or according to frequency shifting property if the s is delayed by 3 then we have to multiply this t value which is placed in the power of exponential which is multiplied by opposite value of minus 3 and that is 3 and then 1 by s 1 by s the laplace transform 1 by s is unit step but look at here this 3 or this pole produces left handed side roc the new step is replaced by minus u of minus t now next one here we'll write a minus sign next we have a 1 upon s plus 1 pole now look at here this s plus 1 pole produces roc which is a right handed sided so first of all we'll calculate s plus 1 value using frequency shifting property so this t is multiplied by opposite value of plus 1 which is a minus 1 so t into minus 1 is minus t and as this pole produces a right handed sided roc so here we'll multiply it by unit step only and this is the roc of two sided pole or two sided roc so this is all about question number 2 or problem number 2 now in next video we'll study next numerical but for that Stay in with Ikeda and subscribe Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.